Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Let's jump into our mailbag and see what awaits us. Jake in Austin, Texas says, Dear Aaron, how do I stop being so sore every night when I get home from the gym? Well, you could quit going. I don't go to the gym and I'm never sore. So there's your answer. Megan in Morgantown, West Virginia writes in, Dear Aaron, what's the proper way to make a PB and J? Oh, mama, let me tell you, I have some opinions on this. Some people will take a piece of bread and put peanut butter on one side and jelly on another and smash them together. That is a crime as far as I'm concerned. I put the peanut butter and the jelly in the same bowl and I get a mixing device. Maybe it's a knife, maybe it's a spoon, a whisk, or a finger. You mix it up till it's all homogenous and then you put it on some bread and enjoy your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Lastly this week, Martin in El Paso writes in, Dear Aaron, can I cut wet grass? Well, Martin, like most things in life, you certainly can. However, I would not recommend it. When grass is wet, it has a tendency to get weighed down by the water so the blades bend and don't stand all the way upright, which means you could A, mow directly over them and then when they dry out, it's gonna look like you didn't do anything. B, you cut them at an angle that doesn't cleanly cut and it tears more than a smooth shear. So just wait it out, let the lawn dry up, and cut dry grass. You'll thank me for it later. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a question you would like answered, please email us advice at lawnstarter.com or tweet at us at twitter.com slash lawnstarter. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week with a brand new episode. Ha, 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 ha,